Welcome to JSA TV Live, coming to you today from the floor of Data Cloud Global Congress in beautiful Monaco. Uh, it's uh, our last time in Monaco. We're moving, switching um, locations next year to Cannes, but so we're enjoying our last time here, I think, in, in Monaco for Data Cloud. It's a full, full week, and I'm very pleased to introduce my guest here today, Matt Anderson, the Chief Marketing Officer at Left Mine Data Center. Welcome. Thank you so much, Barbara. Yeah, how's the week been for you so far? It's been really good. And as you say, it's Monaco, it's beautiful. Uh, I happen to believe that Cannes is maybe even a little bit better. So maybe, I'm looking forward yeah. to next year I already. We'll be seeing, <laughs> won't we? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Um, so we last heard from you, I believe, in December. You were on a, a JSA uh, virtual roundtable talking about predictions for 2023. Tell us what's been happening for you since then. Yeah, I guess that after COVID and uh, things have gotten a lot more hectic already. We see right. an increased activity in the market by uh, uh, customers, partners, suppliers. Everything is is uh, turning up the volume. So we have been moving in some large clients, taking um, some um, pretty uh, a lot of uh, effort from our organization. But we also recently and very uh, happily, we, we uh, installed two new 30 megawatt transformers which is going live as we speak, which is adding capacity to our site in, in Norway. And um, yeah. we actually built them uh, 700 meters into a mountain to protect them from any physical, uh, oh. you know, uh, any threat at all. So it's a, a new yeah. world out there. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you come from the, the land, I believe, of where sustainability is at the, the heart of, of probably a lot of what you do and it's important to your business. I know that it's one of your pillars. Um, I also understand that you're one of Europe's greenest data, data, excuse me, data centers. Uh, Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, we were uh, day one since we started this project. We uh, we decided that we wanted to be one of the greenest data centers in the world. And yeah. um, the core design we started out with is really uh, building up to that. Now, having said that, we, we do have that claim. There are many reasons for that. First of all, we're doing renewable power 100%. There is no certificates of origin or all others. We are having a... Um, a short transmission of the power, meaning that we don't lose power in the grid transporting it. We are close to the power production. Yep. We have a leading efficient cooling system, which makes us use little power. We're reusing a former mine into a data center, meaning that we will use little materials when mm. we construct. We have low mm. visual impact for the people around us. And we are reusing the waste heat now to salmon hatchery. And um, apart from that, we are uh, doing everything we can to support code of conduct, certifications, etc., to really become the most sustainable data center in Europe. And in addition to that, while you're doing all that, you're still thinking about, well, how do we make sure we're future-proofing our, yeah. you know, our facilities for our clients, for, for the industry and for all of the adoption of you know, the, the massive data loads that are happening? Talk about that. Yeah, a future proof is an expression that we have been working on for some time. And uh, we're quite clear on that. I mean, one thing is the sustainability. And we see that we, um, we are moving into a world where everyone is talking about sustainability. We happen to believe that if you're not doing what you can as a DC operator or as a managed service provider in 10 years, you're out of business. Because this is becoming a demand from the clients and from partners and from the world as such. So the sustainability is one important pillar of future proof. Also together with security. Obviously with the situation in the world now with wars, uh, with the uh, conflicts rising, it's important to protect, physically protect the data right. centers more than ever. So that's yeah. an important pillar. And we also happen to believe that um, cost efficiency is important. Do not over-engineer. Purpose build. Make sure that you have what is good for the customer, but modular, flexible, and pay-as-you-grow models, meaning that you keep the cost as low as possible, not only on build-out, but also on operational costs. Yeah. So we happen to have a, a, a TCO, total cost of operations, uh, which is leading in Europe, both because of low power prices, but also the low capex we have for building out capacity. Mm -hmm. So that is future-proof, sustainable, secure, and cost-effective. I love a clear platform like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, you have a lot to offer and you're very clear about how you stated and, and you're delivering, which yeah. is which is fantastic. I think a lot of our viewers are likely going to want to connect with you. Yeah. You know, maybe uh, I know that uh, it's a busy week here. I'm sure you're connecting with a lot of folks already. Um, for anyone that may miss you this week, where can they, how can they find you? Yeah, uh, we are uh, at retail booth here in uh, Monaco. So we'll okay. be uh, hanging out there and uh, 
please feel free to stop by there. Otherwise, it's always the website or as I prefer normally, LinkedIn. That's uh, right. my main platform for yeah. getting the network grown and, and communicating with uh, with peers. So uh, yeah. happy to do that. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure chatting yeah. with you. I look forward already to the next time. Yeah, we'll see you but then. Hopefully before Ken. Yeah. <laughs> before, before yeah. then. Good. But um, thank you again. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV Live coming to you today from the floor of Data Cloud Global Congress. Until next time.